Top five self-defense technique that every man should know about. Bros, I'm not here to teach you some crazy Bruce Lee karate chop or some Chuck Norris kicks, but I am here to get your mindset right, tell you what type of training you should do, and also give you the best tip that will help you in any type of situation. Not how to get this gun away from somebody. No, let's keep it real for the average man to survive. Mindset and alertness. I want you to stop thinking that nothing could happen to you. A fight, getting mugged, that will never happen to me or my family. Guys, it could happen and I want you to start accepting it. Now, once you accept it, start role playing it in your head because the day that it actually does happen, you thought about it and you, and you already kind of know what to do. It will never play out the way you role played it, but at least mindset wise, you're ready. Also, if you see this chart, guys, I want you to know the alert stages. Every time you leave your house, you want to be in cold yellow. You want to be aware of your surroundings. And if you see a threat, then go to orange. That could be a possible bad guy. He keeps staring at me the wrong way. He's following me. And then the red is when you actually engage, okay? Now, the color black, you want to stay away from it. And that is just a complete breakdown of panic attack. And why? Because you're that guy that thought that nothing could ever happen to you. So guys, change that mindset, change our alertness, only be comfortable and unalert when you're at home until you hear that scary noise. But either way, you guys, change your mind. Number two, your presence and being alert. Guys, your presence alone could deter a bad guy. And the way of men is that a bad guy will always pick a weaker subject to fight. They're not going to pick that guy who's six feet, 280 pounds, because you know what? That guy could probably just beat me up or he could probably take me. No, they're going to pick that small little guy, that guy who's 5'6 and is looking weak. But you take that same little guy that's 5'6 and put him in the gym and bulk him up and make him aware, that bad guy is going to think about it twice. You know what? I'm going to wait on a weaker subject to pass by me. So guys, bulk up your presence. A dojo or mixed martial art training. Self-defense, get yourself into mixed martial arts or get yourself inside a dojo. But guys, if you never had that big brother or a bully picking on you, you never fought in your life, learn some basic skills. You have to learn how to fight. These bad guys, trust me, they've been fighting. So guys, get, your, get some training, even just enough where you can hold that person down until help or the police get there. But guys, the more you do it, even the better. You know, if you can know a little bit more than the average Joe, even perfect. Guys, then you can really feel confident and you can take care of yourself and your loved ones. But in that moment where you're being robbed or being picked on for X, Y reason, you might just be facing a life or death situation. So start training. Number four, conceal carry. Conceal carry. Guys, I want you to be very careful with this because if you have a gun, you need to have a lot of responsibility, especially if you're carrying this out in the street. If you're at home, for sure, always have a weapon because you never know who could break into your house in the middle of the night or during the day. And you want to defend yourself and your loved ones. But out in the street, guys, it gives you a lot of power and you have the power to take somebody's life away. But also, if you're an aggressive person and you can't really control your emotions and your anger, do not carry one because I've seen a lot of people get jammed up over for example, a road range incident. So guys, you need to have self-control and just use it when you must, but also get more training on it because if you have a criminal that's pointing a gun at you and then you pull your gun out, you're going to get shot because he already has the upper hand at you. But one thing that that criminal does not have is the element of surprise. He does not know that you have a firearm. So if he, if he wants your wallet, give him your wallet. The moment he turns away, turns around, then you want to go ahead, put your weapon out, and surprise. And bros, the best tip anybody could give you at number five, learn how to walk away. The greatest victory is that which requires no battle. Bros, that is from the art of war. And basically, as a man, it is harder to sometimes walk away than actually face the incident. So swallow that pride and walk away if the opportunity is there. Not, not all incidents require a reaction. So unless you're facing the wall and you can't go anywhere and they have you surrounded or that bag is in front of you, then do what you must. But guys, again, learn to swallow your pride and walk away because it's just not worth it. Killing someone, you getting hurt, breaking a bone, breaking a knuckle. So swallow that pride and walk away. All right, bros, well that concludes the video. So 
Stay on top of your game. Keep your presence up. Stay in the gym because your presence alone could deter a bad guy. But most importantly, have that mindset ready because you never know what could happen. But either way, you guys, comment down below. Let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what type of training a person can do. And also ring the bell, subscribe, and like because I'm always dropping hot videos to better you. And always remember, stay awful.